It's exciting news this morning. Canadian researchers have identified the link between a rare blood clotting disorder and vaccines like the COVID-19 vaccine made by AstraZeneca. Isaac Nazi is the senior author of the new study out of McMaster University in Hamilton. He is our guest this morning. Great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you. In Canada, roughly 1.6 million people received AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, I am one of them. There have been 55 cases of people then developing a blood clot. Six of those people sadly died. What did your team discover about the link between VIT and this vaccine? So thanks for this question and thanks for the opportunity for having me. Um, basically, we did mechanistic studies to understand how this disease actually develops. And uh, we took a molecular biology biochemistry approach and we identified that these antibodies are very specific. They're unusual in their characteristics. And that's what allowed us to understand how they can actually form what's these, these large ag aggregates in the blood called immune complexes. When these get together, they're capable of activating platelets. And when the platelets get activated, that starts this firestorm uh, of blood clotting. And it's really hard to control once it gets started. Uh, what you're still researching, I understand, is whether or not it's something that's in the vaccine that triggers that type of response, uh, or if there's a molecular indicator that makes them more prone to that response. Yeah, so our actual research was to look at where, where the clotting starts, but we got some insight as to how this could be happening. Is it an ingredient in the vaccine, or is it something specific to the individual? The antibodies look very, very restricted in their nature, which is very unusual. Um, it's against the protein in our body, so it could possibly be uh, a reactivation uh, or an activation of a autoimmune nature in some individuals. The ingredient in the vaccine is still unknown whether it's what's causing this reactivation in those specific individuals. But this is so, still incredible information to have, what you and your team have discovered. And now that you've identified the link between the vaccine and blood clots, what's the next step? Yeah, so the next step right now is to contact, get in contact. We are in contact with the manufacturers of the uh, um, adenoviral vector vaccines, be it Astra, AstraZeneca and J&J, &J, so that we can work with them and see how we can move upstream, identify whether there is an ingredient in there that is activating this, uh, this response in some individuals, or is it just something that is specific to these individuals? So we'll be working closely with them to, so that we can uh, move forward and hopefully identify what the uh, um, risk factors or the ingredients are that lead to this clotting. My next question is about timing. Canada only confirmed its first case of vaccine-induced blood clotting in April of this year. Your team has already made this incredible discovery. How were we able to do it so quickly? There's nothing better than doing science when it's fully supported, and we are fully supported right now. Uh, so we were able to move... Uh, uh, swiftly from the beginning of uh, the clotting events to this stage. We set up a uh, surveillance program with the uh, Public Health of Can Agency of Canada. We've been able to uh, inform doctors, uh, let them know to send the samples to the lab here at McMaster so that we can diagnose the patients in a timely and accurate manner so the, uh, the, uh, that the confirmation goes back to the physicians so that they can treat the uh, patients uh, uh, in, the, in the correct manner. This was an issue of global concern. How does it feel that you and your team were the ones who were able to discover this link? Yeah, this is, l l listen, this is a global concern, but it, it will leak back to Canada if we can't help the world solve it. And that's why it's super important. Yes, this is a contribution from Canada to the rest of the world. It's very important. We feel very proud as Canadians that we were able to make this dis uh, discovery and these this uh, study. However, it's very important for Canada that we help the world solve the problem because the, pro the global pandemic is not solved unless it's solved all everywhere. Isaac Nazi, great to have you with us here on your morning. Congratulations again to you and your team. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.